Solana starts to look interesting as a risky contrarian bet. That's because nobody is touching SOL anymore due to the FTX collapse. But what we want to do is we want to be buying when nobody else wants to buy and we want to be selling when everybody is hyped about a certain asset. Now Solana went down a lot from the top to the current price 93% and the total value locked went even down further from 10 billion to currently 250 million so a drop of 97.5%. Now what makes Solana so interesting, it's some of the decentralized applications do get traction. So in the last month we've got Credix up by 1200% total value locked 1 million. Then we've got a Parrot Protocol up 61%, that's already 12 million. And then another smaller one, 5 million, Drift also up. So not everything is going down right now. There is some selected traction in Solana. And what's especially interesting is relative valuation to other smart contract platforms. It seems to be now pretty much at an all time low relative to the Binance Smart Chain, relative to Phantom, relative to Cardano as well. So let's look at those charts. So this is Solana relative to Bitcoin and it had been traded in middle of 2021 at these kinds of levels and it might be bouncing off here again, right? Not saying that we are going to see like a 400% outperformance uh, versus Bitcoin. We might see this if there's another kind of cooperation of a centralized exchange with Solana again. But unless that happens, that kind of an outperformance is probably rather a dream. But still, there seems to be a flaw now, right? When all the people that held Solana just for speculative reasons have already sold, and the selling pressure is over, and then we hit a floor. And this is especially true in relative terms, right? Relative to other coins. This is Solana relative to ETH. Of course, still a downwards trading range. But if we just wait for a while, right? If we simply just see sideways trading action, then we could potentially break out. And then again, the upside potential is pretty massive. Also 400%. Now let's look at Solana relative to BNB, right? This is close to its all-time lows. It's not yet at the low, right? The all-time low would be another 50% drop, but still, right? Simply just looking at this chart, if you wanna be buying low and you wanna be selling high, this looks rather low. Phantom is one of those chains that also was suffering quite a bit, right? Andre Cronje was initially leaving, now he's coming back again. There have been quite a few collapses, Tomb Finance, etc where Phantom didn't do too well. But yeah, Solana looks nice and it's just bouncing off exactly that same kind of level that we've seen in March 2021. So again, relatively speaking, not too unattractive, an outperformance of 300% potentially. Doesn't mean that the US dollar price goes down, simply just means that relative to Phantom, this could be the better deal in case Solana can get traction again. Now here we've got Solana relative to Cardano and this looks very similar to the Ethereum chart. We're already bouncing off, but again, we have to come out of this trend. So all of those charts point towards a potential recovery for Solana, but we have to find the decentralized apps that do get traction. Not everything gets traction, right? There are also quite a few protocols that are losing and uh, we are at 250 million. That being said, it's still a comparatively large chain, right? In terms of market cap, it's still at number 11. It's got a market cap of 8 billion. So it's not irrelevant. It is one of the largest smart contract platforms. It's simply just fighting to, to survive this FTX collapse. But if time passes and if maybe even another backer can get behind Solana, this has upside potential. That being said, this is a contrarian idea. This is a contrarian bet. Everybody wants to get away from Solana and this can of course simply also just go bad, right? Nobody says that simply because it's at relatively low valuations that it can't even go lower. But still, right? If you want to get the bet with higher upside versus downside and you are okay to allocate a small amount of your portfolio into something risky, this could work out. Simply just watch those supports, simply just watch those channels and look at the relative valuations, right? You want to look at something like Sol USDT divided by, for example, BNB USDT, right? And then press enter in TradingView. Then you get these relative valuation charts and simply just watch those potential breakouts. Also watch the potential decentralized applications that could 
uh, get some traction, right? You have to watch this very closely. And then maybe we see this whole ecosystem revive again. It's still relatively large. It still has quite a bit of a market cap and potential, right? There are still developers that like to develop for Solana. So looking forward also to your feedback to this. If you're still in Solana, if you're considering to get into the ecosystem, feel free also to join our Discord. We are more than 100 people there or alternatively our Telegram. Links are both down below. See you over there and of course also in the next video. Bye-bye.